got too many friends in Jennifer. I'll just be telling all my brothers, please, tracking that door when you level up. The wannabe have to be doing our business and sending you pieces they hem you up. You're getting them high, but please keep it low when doing your thing on your cellular. The one you want over, I'm telling you. Got too many friends in Jennifer. I'll just be telling all my brothers, please, tracking that door when you level up. The wannabe have to be doing our business and sending you pieces they hem you up. You're getting them high, but please keep it low when doing your thing on your cellular. The one you want over, I'm telling you. I'm Amy Elna O'Keefe, I am the performance nutritionist for England Red Roses and it is my mission and passion to make the Red Roses the best field team in the world. This is my first Six Nations so I only ever heard about what the competition is like but being in it <laughs> is, um, yeah, keeps you on your toes but my objective is to ensure that the players are educated trying to really simplify performance nutrition because I think a lot of people think it's this really complicated, complex area and it, re it really, really isn't. But I think social media and external noise can really overcomplicate this performance nutrition and fuel and recovery. So just kind of getting rid of that noise and creating visuals, having conversations, understanding the athlete's history around nutrition. I think that's really, really important because everyone's got a story. For some females, it, it's tough. It's tough to talk about it sometimes as well. My role is to simplify it and make it as easy as possible. Oh, good day. Yes. So just for context, today's the big day. You've got pitch session, small window to refuel, and then another part of the pitch session. So it's high volume, high demand. So we want the players to be able to come in, refuel their carbohydrate stores, rehydrate to then feel good, energized, to go back out and meet the demands of the training session to be able to push harder, adapt quicker, and perform better. So fruit provides fast acting carbohydrates, so um, they would be broken down into the bloodstream quickly and then you know you would have the, the kind of instant impact of those carbohydrates. If we're looking at like the flapjacks and the kind of banana bread type stuff, again, kind of a combination of the two, you've got oats in the flapjacks, which would be classified as a slow releasing carb, but these are combined with honey and um, sugars, they are essentially kind of a fast acting carb that will, in that refuel window, consume them, you know, within 10, 15 minutes, you know, they will start to feel the benefit of that. And then on the training pitch, um, comes 80 minutes time, I'm hoping the girls will feel, feel way more energized. Delicious. Mm. Thanks, Amy, you're the best. Oh, you're the best, Amy. Yes, <laughs> yes lad! <laughs> Amy or Amy, as we like to call her, um, is absolutely golden. Like she has added so much value in terms of like her personality, um, how much she brings out in everyone, but also the detail and the amount of stuff that we get now. Um, we're so grateful for. I think we all sit back and we're like, oh my god, thank you so much. Like to have somebody of her knowledge and her experience coming across from football like knowing what we need and what's like the baseline for an elite environment is huge because she doesn't put up with anything less than that and we are so grateful for it. For me personally, she's been unbelievable. Um, 
I think I'm probably lactose free, which I didn't realize before. So like just the difference that that's made in terms of my own diet, how I feel in myself, and also like the ability to now go on again. And we talk about one percenters all the time, but she's probably added like a good five to eight percent on most people. Genuinely, like I'm 35 now and I'm sat there thinking, oh, I've been doing this wrong for a long time. And it's just awesome to, to see the different ways that she's trying to get the messages across that she is and how that's landing with the girls and obviously what it's doing to us on the pitch as well. Like I think we're going higher ball and play, um, our outputs are getting better, we're getting stronger, fitter in the gym. Like you can tell that, yes, obviously s and is a massive part of that as well, but also the nutrition and how we're fueling is huge for it. And yeah, we're definitely very grateful for what she's doing. Go! Go on! Go, go, go! go. Three, six. Trust it. I haven't moved at all. Trust it. Yes. Okay, okay so you can do that. Prep to train. There's so many different facets of the game and obviously in an English show, like we've not historically had like a box kicking game or, or nines that have kicked and it's something that I love, like I really enjoy that element of taking the pressure off the 10 or being able to like put pressure on opposition teams. So having Hollers come in with that um, box kicking game has been awesome, like the amount of technical detail that he's added on to what we were already doing um, has been amazing and yeah, I'm forever grateful for that. You can just see that each of us every time like the competition's growing with us as we go through the box kick and trying to hit that crossbar um, but also it's it's just making us way more aware of each other and what our triggers are so we can help each other through and making sure that we keep like for me like setting the ball out and that's a big trigger for me now so hopefully I can keep that consistency and just keep getting better and better. I love the girls, like I would do anything for Ella and for Luce to put them in the best position and if that means that I'm second to them, third to them and, and whatever that is to get the team in the best place, like that goes without saying when you're part of this environment and you're part of this this makeup. Um, but they're both awesome, like the competition is rife throughout the squad, everyone's got it and um, yeah I think you just relish in that opportunity and the, the more you can go against the best the better it, it makes you. So. Yeah, it's, it's awesome to be pushed and to be challenged by each other, but also to have that arm around and to be able to, to help each other out whenever needed. Hello and welcome to O2 Inside Line Live. I'm Mohan and for the next half hour we've taken over the gym here in Pennyhill Park and we will be bringing you all the action from inside the Red Roses camp. Inside Line Live was awesome, uh, something that we spoke about obviously Daddy Care and the men's side was doing it um, for there and like, I love to go into hosting and I really enjoy the media side of stuff so to be given almost the ropes to be able to put myself forward for it was awesome. But no, I loved it, like obviously two great guests in Bots and, and Meg so they're always good value. There's a lot to learn still so same when I'm on the pitch, when I'm off the pitch with my media stuff, like you always learn and I think reflecting and, and trying to get better in everything I do is just part and parcel of my personality. Um, Mum actually texted me saying I swallowed too hard before one of them and um, that I looked a little bit nervous doing my links which was actually true. So definitely get better through through the um, through the weeks but no I really enjoyed it it was awesome fun. Fact three Meg I'm gonna have to take a moment for this one Meg is short for Maganwi Guru Huenin which is her full <laughs> name in Welsh. 
Okay, I'm going to say... Do you want uh, me to repeat the name? Yeah, sorry, one more time, actually. One more time. Let me hear my birth name again. Magangwi Guru Fluelin. Is that good? Is that how you pronounce it? Can Meg say it, sorry? Can Meg say it? Yeah, Magangwi Fluelin Guru. Yeah, two or three, so I think that one's a lie. Meg? Um, that is, that is. Yeah, that that is. Damn it. <laughs> That's very good. I think that. Very good, very good. I actually believed that no, when no, I read it. Did, no, I did. did. I actually no, believed it. Come on, you're sure now. All right, Guru. <laughs> Okay, so match day minus one is the most important day of the week to load the body's energy stores in preparation for the game the following day. On match day minus one, we have a lot of white based carbohydrates, which are easy digestible carbohydrates and they are low in fiber. It prevents any potential stomach issues, digestion issues. We wanna keep all of that under control as best as possible. And white paste carbs, such as white rice, orzo pasta, white rolls, white bread, like chia batters and bagels, are really good carbohydrate sources to have on a day like today. <laughs> so desserts at dinner time on a cobbling day there's always a cake and custard but we did have at lunch today some lemon cake slices which apparently were incredible but I didn't taste it myself just, just, just talk about Don't cake. tell me. We get a whole episode on nutrition in Northern talk about, Amy. Talk about cake and custard, actually. Uh, cake and custard. <laughs> I tell you what, the lemon slice was banging earlier. Not that I would know, but it was banging. <laughs> well, I'm off. I'll see you later. See you later. In terms of the stigma around carbohydrates, over years, generations, there's kind of this negative association that carbohydrates are bad. Carbohydrates make you fat, make you bloated but there's so much context to that, it's untrue. Carbohydrates are the body's primary energy source for high intensity exercise, and they fuel rugby performance. It's as simple as that. So it's my role to help educate, create awareness, to help reduce that stigma, reduce that potential carbohydrate fear, and just educate that carbohydrates don't make you fat, they make you perform as best as you can. Most tense situation, Scotland have been off, oh, okay, that was too easy, she scores! In greasy conditions, they're happy that this is still the proverbial hot potato. This is wonderful from England, nearly everyone's touched it to this near side to down. That could be an incredible try! Nearly every England player touched the ball. Aitchison thinks she can see space, oh that's a nice chase by Meg Jones and she's got it back in field, that's really good, can kill Dan go over? She can! And Hunt's seen enough, she gets it off the field and England with a commanding lead there. Despite going down for 10 minutes to 14 women. So the reason we've got a lot of carbohydrates at half time is because naturally the body's energy sources will be reduced and the aim is to get in at half time, replenish those carbohydrates, get energy back into the body rehydrate with both waters and carbohydrate based fluids like isotonic drinks so that in the second half performance will peak again and he can put out the best performance possible Come on, Scotland. she's round the corner not over manages to move her body back Kabea, too easy try number four bonus point wrapped up and it's penalty advantage to england they've got a free hit Coming on the loop there was a, oh, a nice run cross field to Bridge. What a take by Bridge! What a finish! What a try by England straight off the training park! And just to find Breach gets her head down despite the fact that Rona Lloyd was running up towards. Oh, Breach! Still Breach! She's going over for a brace! Scotland had no 
final answer. They needed to put in the tackle. Bernati has been begging for every ball. They need one more pass. And Dow is there. It's Kildun. Kildun scores. Packer picks up the ball, spins it out wide, going forward, it's Packer for a try. Marley Packer going over, England taking every opportunity, every chance, and that is now a try. This Red Roses team is something special and they are growing to, but they march on towards getting that Grand Slam. I think we got all weathers today, but that was a good performance, yeah? From the first minute to 80 minutes, yeah, we got out of that game what we wanted. Real positive. We need to step out there again and continue to grow.